Mounting the firewall and the spec wing is pretty straightforward. What we're going to do is, um, there's uh, holes that are machined in it. These are eighth inch holes. We're going to line up the uh, firewall. We made a mark there, mark there, mark there. We're just kind of firmly holding it in place. Okay, make sure it's straight. And then we're going to take an eighth inch drill bit and we're going to drill in the foam. holes because what we're going to do, how we're going to mount this firewall is on these uh, holes here, the center hole you need to plug off so you can't get any glue inside there, but just the very end of it. In this case I used a little bit of CA and some whatever just right there, but because the idea is you want to be able to put later on when we mount this firewall and mount it straight, we got to have a dowel that goes in there if it can be removed. Mounting the firewall though, we're going to have uh, two eighth inch dowels that we've drilled in there. And we're going to glue those in with CA. And then we're going to, uh, using our holes we just drilled, we'll go in there. We're going to line up this firewall, and then we're going to glue that firewall on. Now to set up this firewall, we're going to take a 1 8 inch dowel that goes in the center right there. And again, make sure that's closed up on the back because you've got to be able to remove this. And we're going to use, now we've got these holes drilled in there. The first thing you want to do is just kind of eyeball it. Okay, let's see if it looks like it's about straight. Put it in there and just press up against it and eyeball it. In this case, it looks like it's tilted up just a little bit. So what we want to do is we want to try to do a little bit of trimming. And so since it's tilted that way, I need to take a little bit off the bottom. The easiest way to do it is take a straight blade without the knife on there put it flush and then push it slightly to the direction you want to cut and then let the blade be the straight edge okay and that'll take off a little bit of what you need there and then once we eyeball it there we go we're pulling it kind of flush and that looks pretty close okay so next we're going to glue it on now to glue it on we're going to set up a couple things to set this straight and uh, we're going to use, uh, in order to set this firewall in there, uh, we're going to use two glues. Uh, we're going to use some uh, Gorilla White glue. That's going to go inside the foam where those dowels go because that white glue expands out. For, uh, oops, I can find my glues here. To glue the um, uh, firewall on, we're going to use some five minute epoxy. Well, five minute epoxy is because so we can set it, we can hold it, it sets up quick, it dries hard, and it also fills in. Okay, I don't like that other stuff. So, we'll be back in just a second, we'll get it set up. And in preparation for putting this firewall on, what we did was we just carefully pulled the elevons up. I mean, those are gooped hinge on there, so they'll, they'll flex. Tape those aside, and what we've done is, um, use the dowel that we have. We put that in there and got the approximate distance we need to stretch our thread and gone out. And we've taken a couple of T-pins, put them in the center of the uh, uh, trailing edge there, or the leading edge of the uh, elements, and we've struck a uh, piece of thread across it. Now, we just took a straight edge and a sharpie and lined our straight edge Put a little piece of, uh, of uh, masking tape right there. You could probably use white thread and probably wouldn't have to put the masking tape on there. And very simply just our center line and using a sharpie, a short sharpie, just put a little dot right where our center line is. That's our, that's our uh, center of our thrust. So when we put the firewall in, we're going to glue it in. this thing in and then we're going to set it we're right there on the center line and then we're going to hold it up and let the epoxy harden and when that does that our set our fall wall directly to the center line okay we got our five minute epoxy I just put it in here 
and we're going to mix it up really good. Make sure to make plenty. It's always better to make a little too much. That stuff is beginning to thicken. We're going to take our trusty uh, Gorilla White glue. And we're going to take that and we're going to put the white glue down inside the holes you drilled for the dowels. I like this stuff because it expands inside there. So you put plenty in there, it's going to come out, no question about it. Okay, now we get that, now we got our firewall set up. Now dial also, make sure this, this thing is in there perpendicular. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to take a, this a five minute epoxy, and we're going to coat this area back here. And we're going to put a pretty good coat on there because if it's not exactly flush, you pull it, you want it to be able to fill in. If there's any gaps or if there's any big gaps, you can always go back in afterwards. Shift all the way out to the end. Okay. set up my glue in there a five minute epoxy on there we're going to take our firewall and we're going to push it down in oops not before that hang on oops I got a step I want to moisten these things here a little bit because that moisture will help them really make that stuff foam out inside there really. there we go now we got it lined up there we go and it should be because you drilled everything now you got marks Take the time to get everything lined up straight. Okay. okay. Now, we want to aim this little, uh, you know, right at our dot. Now, in my case, the easiest thing to do a five minute pox, I found out sometimes is just just hold it till it sets up. The idea is that corner is pointing right towards that dot. That'll set our thrust line uh, uh, horizontal and vertical where it should be. Uh, very critical on wings that this gets set right. Uh, a lot of people have problems with a, getting an airplane to fly right or trim right because they don't have the thrust angle set right and pushes the wing all over the place. Okay, now I got the firewall glued on. We pulled that little center uh, dowel out. That's why you want to glue it in because that's got to come out. Then we're going to put it back in later. We can use that to set the wing up level to set the elevons. It's one way to do it. So next thing you do is on these bottom wing halves that you've been building in. That's why you have to be careful not to cut it up too much in the center. Set the wing back in. Mark the back of the firewall right there because this is going to we're going to make the fairing for the bottom. And then uh, very simply. Make this one and three quarter inches wide. Mark off the space. That's the dish for the firewall. So we want this piece right there. And we want this to be yeah, an inch and a half inches long. So now, all we're simply going to do is cut this out. And being slightly oversized is okay. Make sure we've got a sharp knife. Straight. firewall so cut this out okay. 
Now you've got the piece of fairing. And that's it. this one's going to go on the bottom, that's what this is for. So all we're simply going to do is, something like that. See, it's got the little bone there. So we're going to take this, and you may have to shave, angle, cut a little bit of bevel the front to bevel a little bit so it fits on the firewall flush. And we're going to glue that on there with CA, and we're going to take a knife and shape it. Now, a couple things before we do that. Probably want to go ahead and cut the front down because it's easier to do it straight while it's off. You know, to kind of fair that in just using a straight knife. Let it be the guide. We've got that part cut. And looks like we need to cut an angle a little bit from the top. Yeah, looks pretty good. Now we're simply just going to take this and we're going to glue it on with CA. Find me a bottle of CA that's got some in it here. It's a lot of stuff here. Kicker works really good for this part. I want to go ahead and put a good, pretty good amount on there because I want this to use not just be a fairing, but also want it to be strong. So we'll put a bunch of CA on there. Take some kicker. Spray right we're going to put it on there. Line it up in the center. Just can. I'm just going to push that in and glue it in. And we're going to let that kicker kick off. And then once that kicks off, then all you got to do is take your straight blade and just fall on the firewall, the top of the firewall, just trim it where it's, it's flush with the firewall. Yep. Take a straight blade. The easiest way to do this is just. Clean it up. Using the firewall as a Fairing for the bottom. For the top, doesn't need to be anywhere near that big. So we'll just take a little piece of the front. I'm going to make this one about, take it to the spar. Back to the spar. Straight, Wes. Same thing, do a little fitting on the front if you need to. Um, it's a lot taller. Looks like we need to take it at a little bit of an angle. Same thing with this one, we'll glue this one on. You know, it's a little piece so it's a, a lot easier to shape. It's a kicker. And press it down against the firewall. 
hold it to that grass.